In any exercise in statistical analysis, the most effort spent from a time perspective is devoted to cleaning, manipulating, and organizing data, which we call data wrangling. In this module, we will learn how to accomplish the following three tasks. Create a new variable, identify duplicates, and filtering variables. We need to know how to accomplish these three tasks so that we can produce the statistics reported in Table 1 in Hammermish Parker's study on teaching evaluations. Table 1 reports the percentage of students who evaluated a course. That variable is not available in the data set. We need to calculate it. And the easiest way to do it is to use compute variable option in SPSS. And then using this dialog box, you select students and then put the divide by sign and then all students who attended the course times 100. And that will give you the percentage of students who evaluated the course. You can click on type and label to give a proper descriptive name to this variable. Identifying duplicates is rather tricky. Remember that in our data set, we have 463 courses taught by 94 instructors, which mean that many instructors taught more than one course. And when you are computing averages for age or determining what percentage of instructors were females, you need to remove the duplicates so that you only take one observation for each individual instructor. To accomplish this, you need to identify duplicates in SPSS. Fortunately, SPSS has a powerful tool to identify duplicates. All you need to do is to select the dialog box, identify duplicate cases. The variable prof uniquely identifies each individual instructor. And we select this and click OK. And then the software will take care of identifying unique professors. It will do so by identifying the last course taught by each professor as 1 and the duplicates as 0 and create a new variable calling primary last 1, telling us that the last incidence for each instructor is coded as 1 and 0 otherwise. Once you have identified the duplicate cases, you need to remove the duplicates from your data set or filter them out. So you can use the filter case option and you can select cases by clicking on if condition is satisfied and then you specify this condition that whenever the primary last equal one is satisfied that is the last case for each instructor equals one then you say filter these course cases by clicking on continue and it will then remove all cases where primary last equaled zero click OK and you have now essentially filtered out the unwanted cases